Here are a few things you may never have considered about owning a Tesla. Good morning, guys. For those of you that have never owned or uh, driven a Tesla or have owned any other EV, it may come as a surprise, but maybe not, that there are uh, some things that you may never have considered when, uh, when purchasing an EV or a Tesla specifically. A uh, handful of things that I've noticed. First, you never seem to think much about the price of gas. Now, that doesn't mean the price of gas doesn't affect your day-to-day -day life, and I can wax eloquent on another, another video on that topic, but you don't really think about it day-to-day. -day. That's probably one of the biggest things that I've noticed. I get up, go outside, my car is plugged in, it's charged, I unplug it, I go about my day. Don't really think about the price of gas at all, even though we own two other cars, both of which are normal uh, gas cars. The one is my uh, little Civic Si that I drive around on the weekends. It only sees about 7,000, or less than seven, about 6,000 miles a year. Uh, so I don't really think much about it, and it gets over 40 miles to the gallon. And then there's my wife's um, Fusion, Ford Fusion, but she drives that car. She gasses it up when it needs it, so it's off my radar screen. So that's item number one. You don't even think about the price of gas anymore. Uh, another thing that you may not have considered is that when you purchase a Tesla, suddenly you are sort of uh, part of a different society. Now, I don't mean I don't mean that in an uppity way, where suddenly you're you're part of some <laughs> some uh, you know upper upper class or something. But there is a sort of a, a following for Teslas, not only Tesla owners. But people that like the cars in particular, all of a sudden, you sort of shift into that that group of people, and every everybody around you sort of shifts you in their eyes into a sort of a different group. Uh, it's hard to explain in, until you own one, and maybe it's different state to state. It might be completely different in California, where Teslas are more common than they are here in Northern Illinois. But that's something else I noticed. Uh, another thing is that you become tied to a different infrastructure. As I mentioned before, you're, you no longer think about gas, but you do think about electricity. So I don't know if this is a downside of owning the car or not, but the thought has crossed my mind, what if the power goes out? This car has enough range for me to really cover two full days of driving on a charge, but that would require me charging it to 100% and then discharging it down near zero to get two full days of driving. I drive about 150 miles a day. So it's hard on the battery to do that, so I charge to 80%, and then when I get home, I have roughly 30% left in the battery, and I plug in. That keeps the battery healthy. So at the end of a typical day, I've only got 30% charge left. So if I were to get home and the power was out, uh, that would bother me. In fact, I, I might be tempted to uh, to drive the 40 minutes away to get to the nearest supercharger to top off the car. Um, so, so that's a concern. Uh, something else related to that is that you, you have to have a charger set up at, at your house, uh, or at least a 220 outlet that you can plug in the, the NEMA 1450 plug that the car comes with on its charge cord. So. Before you buy a Tesla, that's something that you need to bear in mind, that you have to have a way to charge it. You can plug the car into a 110 outlet, but it charges pitifully slow that way. Another thing that you may not have considered is that suddenly you are viewed uh, politically in a specific way. I'm politically somewhat of a moderate, and we can go that, into that another time, but um, I see strengths of, of both, both parties. Uh, I, and so I, I don't want to get into that topic, but when you purchase a Tesla, you're sort of automatically shifted into the, the liberal side of things politically. Uh, whether you are on board uh, with the liberal position or not, you are shifted to that, to that side. Uh, one other thing, and this is probably the biggest one, is that you probably don't really think much about this, but products you purchase do change your life. Uh, when we first got the internet 20 years ago, or longer, 23 years ago, uh, when my wife and I first got set up to use the internet on old dial-up service, it changed our lives. Well, owning this car 
at least for me, has changed my life, partly because of all those things I just mentioned, but it's just, it, you start to view transport and vehicles and vehicle reliability and vehicle expense in a completely different way. So anyway, those are my, uh, my items that came to mind today. I'll probably think of other things after uh, getting done filming this, but let me know what you guys think. For those of you that have a Tesla, how has it changed your life? What are some of the things that you never really thought about before getting the car that have become very obvious since purchasing it? And uh, you know, leave your comments down below. For those of you that would like some aid on supercharging costs and you're ready to buy a Tesla, please use my referral code. It'll be down uh, linked in the description below and uh, you'll get some help on supercharging and every referral I get helps the channel. Anyway, thanks guys. Have a great day.